Okay, number five from yesterday's worksheet, basically the cone problems. All right, first, um, let me draw a picture. Okay, so you have a cone. It is a conical paper cup. Make sure you're reading number five and you have the worksheet out because I'm not going to rewrite the problem, okay? Um, it's a paper cup. It is 30 centimeters tall, and that is not changing. And the radius is 10, and that is not changing. Inside the cup, it's being filled with water, and that is changing. So this little r is changing. This little h is changing. The key to all of these cone problems is the proportion that I have right there. Big R is to little r as big H is to little h. That's the key. That's going to allow you to get rid of one of the variables. Crisscross, cross multiply, 10h is equal to 30r. And then wait, because I don't know if I want to solve for R or for H. It depends on what they ask for in the problem. So next, volume of a cone is one-third area of the base times the height. Okay, if we were to leave it like this, we would need to know dvdt, drdt, and dhdt. Only one of those could be unknown. They won't give you enough, prob enough information to solve it that way. So we're going to end up needing to get rid of one of these variables, and that's determined by the rates that are given or asked for, the things that I call DTs. So we have to read the problem again and figure out which rates are given and which rates are asked for. So it says the cup is being filled at 16 pi over 3 cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters per second. When they use cubic centimeters, that implies volume. So they're giving me dv dt is 16 pi over 3. Now I've got to figure out what they're asking for. How fast is the water level rising? Well, the water level, that's this. So what they're asking for is dh dt. That's the question. That means I want only V's and H's in this problem. So that means I'm going to get rid of this R. So to get rid of that R, I'm going to come over here and solve for R. Divide by 30 on both sides, and R is going to equal H over 3. Now take what R equals and plug that in up here. Okay? So... Volume equals one third pi r squared h, but I'm going to change r into h over 3. Simplify this completely, okay? So we have one third pi h squared over 9 times h. And now just move all your numbers to the front. You have a 3 times a 9 both on the bottom, so that's 1 over 27 pi h cubed. And that's what you want the final equation to look like. There's usually a fraction and a pi and either an h cubed or an r cubed, depending on which one you got rid of. All right, now we have our volume equation, but we don't have time involved. We don't have any rates involved. So now we're going to take that equation and do the derivative of both sides. Okay. So now we do our rates of change, do the derivative of both sides. The derivative of v is dv dt. And on the right side, this is a power rule. 3 times 1 27th is 3 27ths, or 1 9th, pi h squared dh dt. Now, by the way, I didn't even mention the fact that they said at this moment, the water level is 6. That's at this moment. I don't really care about that until I get to right now. Right now is when I fill in the moment in time. And they did give me that H was 6, the water level, but it wouldn't matter if they gave me what R was. It doesn't matter if they give me H or R because I can always solve for one or the other. Okay. What really matters is the DTs, the rates that they give you and the rate that they ask for. That's the mo most important thing to focus on. Not whether they give you H or R, but whether they give me DHDT or DRDT. That's what determined which variables to keep. All right, so DVDT they gave us. That was 16 pi over 3. At this moment in time, 
H is six, but again, even if they had given me R, I could have found it. So six squared would be 36. DH, DT was the question. Okay, cross cancel. 36 divided by nine is four. So I have 16 pi over three equals four pi DH, DT. Divide by four pi on both sides. Or divide by four pi can look like that. The pi's will cancel. 16 and four cancels. And I get DH, DT equals four thirds. And this is height, so it's not cubic. That would be volume. So this is centimeters per second. Okay, hope that helps. That was number five.